Welcome to General Mathematics class. Our lesson for today is Solving Rational Equations and Inequalities. It's me, Juliet B., your teacher in Gen Math. Do you want more examples? In this video lesson, I will give you more examples on how to solve rational equations and inequalities. Let us start with solving rational equations. Example number 1, 2 over x squared minus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1 equals 1 half. For us to solve it, let us follow the following steps, started with step number 1. Find the least common denominator. In finding the least common denominator, we have to factor out denominators that are factorable. So factors of x squared minus 1 is x squared, uh, x minus 1 times x plus 1. Then, this term, since x minus 1 is not factorable, let us just copy it, and then followed by 2. So, we will get all the denominators. After that, let us now get the LCD. In LCD, just have to get all the factors present at the denominator. So, let's start with x minus 1, followed by x plus 1. And then we have x minus 1 since we have already x minus 1 here. So, we will not put x minus 1 anymore and then followed by 2. So, we'll just write 2 here in front. So, the LCD is 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 1. Second step is to multiply both sides of the equation by its LCD. So we will multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. So let's let us copy the given 2 over x minus 1. I will now write the fact third form of the denominator minus 1 over x minus 1 equals 1 half. And then multiply both sides by the LCD. 2 times x minus 1, x plus 1. 2 times x minus 1, x plus 1. After that, after multiplying both sides by the LCD, apply the distributive property and then simplify. Meaning, this LCD will be distributed to all the terms of the given rational equation. Starting with the first term, we'll have the LCD 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 1 times 2 over x minus 1 x plus 1 minus the second term. So the LCD again, x minus 1 times x plus 1 times this one. 1 over x minus 1 equals the LCD again, 2 times x minus 1, x plus 1 times 1 half. So as you can see, I just distributed the LCD to each term of the rational equation. Then with that, let us now simplify. x minus 1 and x minus 1 is uh, 1 x plus 1 and x plus 1 is also 1. So what we have is 2 times 2, 4. Since it's minus, let's copy minus. x minus 1 and x minus 1 is 1. So negative 2 times x plus 1 times 1. So meaning minus 2 times x plus 1. Equals, on the other side of the equation, we have 2 and 2. Because 2 is at the denominator. So, divided 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, what we have is x minus 1 times x plus 1. Simplifying it further, let us distribute negative 2 to x plus 1 and let us multiply x minus 1 times x plus 1. So, 4 minus 2x minus 2, I distributed negative 2 equals the product of x minus 1 and x plus 1 is x squared minus 1. So we have a second degree equation. 
So, meron na tayong 4 minus 2 is 2 minus 2x is equal to x squared minus 1. After that, let us put all the terms at one side of the equation. We have x squared plus 2x minus 2 minus 1 equals 0. 0 is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3. And then since second degree equation to quadratic equation, let us factor it out for us to get the value of x. Factors of negative 3 that will give us positive 2 is minus 1 and plus 3. So, yan. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 3x plus negative x is positive 2x. Equating both to 0. So, we have x plus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 3. x minus 1 is equal to 0. x minus 1 is equal to 0. x minus 1 is equal to 0. x is equal to 1. So, we have these two values of x. Negative 3 and positive 1. The last step is to find for the possible values of x. Ito na ngayon, yung positive 3 at saka negative 1. The, the fifth step is to check each value by substituting into original equation and reject any extraneous roots. So, we have to check first if this one is really a solution or not. Bago natin tanggapin na solution siya, i-check muna natin. So, checking. Checking. Checking is we will go back to the original given. If x is equal to negative 3 from here, 2 over negative 3 squared minus 1 minus 1 over negative 3 minus 1 is equal to 1 half. So we have 2 over 9 minus 1 because negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 minus 1 over 8 minus Take note, it's negative 1 and it's negative 4, so plus 1 fourths equals 1 half. 2 over 8 is 1 fourth plus 1 fourth, therefore 1 half is equal to 1 half, and this is true. So therefore, we will accept negative 3 is a solution. Solution. Let's have x is equal to 1. Checking. x is equal to 1. From here, 2 over 1 squared minus 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 equals 1 half. As you can see, 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is also 0. So this part of the equation is undefined. So, without further ado, we can say, kasi undefined na to, undefined is equal to 1 half, and this is very wrong. So, positive 1 is not a solution. So, only, only x equals negative 3 is the solution. So, second example is for x plus 1 over x plus 1 minus 3 equals 12 over x squared minus 1. First step, find the least common denominator. So, the least common denominator is we have we have 
the denominators. Let us have the factors of the denominators. So we have x plus 1. The denominator of 3 is 1. Here, the factors are x plus 1 and x minus 1. From here, we will choose the LCD. So we'll just take x plus 1. So x plus 1 again, so we'll not take that. And then followed by x minus 1. This is now the LCD. Second, multiply both sides of the equation by its LCD. So copying the given for x plus 1 over x plus 1 minus 3 equals 12 over the factored form x plus 1 times x minus 1. So multiplying both sides by the LCD, we have x plus 1 times x minus 1, x plus 1 times x plus 1, x minus 1, I should say. So x plus 1, x minus 1. When multiplying it, we will apply the distributive property and then simplify. So we'll multiply it. When we simplify it, x plus 1 will be divided into 1 in, and will be 1. So what we have is x minus 1 times 4x plus 1. Minus, wala tong denominator kon d1, so therefore, times na natin siya. Negative 3 times x plus 1, x minus 1. Ito naman equals, when we multiply it, madidivide natin yung x plus 1 tsaka x minus 1. This will give us 1. And then times 12, 12. Then let us multiply it. It will be x squared, 4x squared. By 4 method, we have 4x squared plus x minus 4x minus 1 minus distribute natin let us firm multiply it we have negative 3 times x squared minus 1 equals 12 then after that we'll have 4x squared x minus 4x is negative 3x minus 1 let us distribute negative 3 to x squared minus 1. This will give us negative 3x squared plus 3 equals 12. Then let us simplify. 4x squared minus 3x squared is x squared minus 3x. Then negative 1 plus 3 is 2 equals 12. Since we resulted into a second degree equation, let us equate this 1 into 0. So we have x squared minus 3x, positive 2, we have here minus 12 equals 0. So it will be x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. And then let's factor out for us to get the value of x, x and x. So, possible factors of 10 are 5 and 2. And then, uh, the sign of 2 and 5, that will give us negative 3 when we add. So, we have here negative 5. We have here the positive 5. I positive 2. Because negative 5 and positive 2 is negative 10. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. And then, after that, equate natin ulit sa 0. So, therefore, x is equal to negative 2. Ito naman, x minus 5 is equal to 0. x is equal to 5. Ang 4, find all possible values. Ito na yan. Negative 2 at positive 5. Ang ika 5 is to check each value by substituting to the original equation and reject if there is an extraneous roots. Reject the extraneous roots. So, checking if x is equal to negative 2, we have 4 times negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1 minus 3 equals 12 times negative 2 squared minus 1. 
negative 8 plus 1, negative 7, over negative 1, minus 3, equals uh, 12 over 4 minus 1, 3. Hindi makita. 12 over, kasi 12 over 4 squared, uh, negative 2 squared is 4 minus 1, 3. So, we have negative 7 minus 3 is 4. And negative 7 divided by negative 1 is 7 minus 3, 4 equals 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, check. Therefore, negative 2 is a solution. Solution. Another, x is equal to 5. Same tayo, dun ulit sa original. 4 times 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1, 6 minus 3 equals 12 over 5 squared, 25 minus 1 over 24 na tayo. So, we have 20 plus 1, 21 divided by 6 minus 3 equals 1 half. 21 over 20 plus 1 over 6, 21. So, 21 over 6 minus 3 is 0.5. So, therefore, this should be 1 half. So, therefore, 0.5 is still 1 half equals 1 half, therefore, true din siya. x equals 5 is also a solution. So, we have two solutions in this given. x equals negative 2 and x equals 5. No extraneous roots. Next is solving rational inequalities. The given is 3x plus 1 minus x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 2. First step is to put the rational inequality in general form. So this will be 3x plus 1 over x minus 1 minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. After that, write the inequality into a single rational expression on the left side. So, for make this a single rational inequality, let us get its LCD. Let us combine this 3x plus 1 over x minus 1 minus 2. LCD is x minus 1. x minus 1 time, divided by x minus 1 is 1 times 3x plus 1 is 3x plus 1. Minus, so it's minus here, x minus 1 divided by 1, the denominator of 2, times 2. So, we have negative 2 times x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Let us distribute negative 2. So, 3x plus 1 minus 2x plus 2 over x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. Let us simplify. 3x minus 2x is x. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, positive 3 over x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. It is now a single rational inequality. Next to that is to set the numerator and denominator equal to 0 and solve. So, we will set x plus 3 is equal to 0 and solved. x is equal to negative 3. x minus 1 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 1. So, these two are the critical points. Critical points. In the number line, negative 3 if this is 0, this is 0, 
this should be positive 1. So, if this is 0, 1 is here. And then, negative 3 is at the left. 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So, with that, the critical points divide the number line into three regions. So, we have positive 1 here. I should cross the positive 1. And the negative 3. Let us test first if negative 3 and positive 1 are, the, are part of the solution. So, from... From the original given, if x is equal to negative 3, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4, greater than equal to 2. Negative 8 divided by negative 4 is positive 2, greater than equal to 2. This is true. So, um... Negative 3 is part of the solution. So, yeah, this, this should have a solid that. And then, if, let us test if x is equal to 1, if 1 is part of the solution. So, we have 3 times 1, 3 plus 1, 4 over 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is undefined. I 0. Dividing any number by 0 is undefined. So, magiging ganyan yan, is greater than equal to 2. This is undefined. In short, 1 is not part of the solution. So, since it is not part of the solution, open circle lang siya dyan. So, the critical values divides the number line into three parts. First part or region 1, region 2, region 3. With that, kukuha tayo ng mga values na ipang test natin whether that region is part of the solution. Dito, nandito ang negative 4, kaya kuhanin na natin yan. Sa region na to, nandiyan na 0, 0 na ang ipang test natin. Dito 1, ang sunod sa 1 ay 2. Yun na ang ipang test natin. So, bukuhatin natin yung range of values dito. Dito sa region 1, x is less than equal to negative 3. Kaya may equal kasi kasama sa solution ng negative 3. Ito, x is less than 1 but greater than equal to negative 3. And this part, x is greater than 1. Alin sa tatlong yan ang solution. So, gamitin natin yung mga testing points natin. If x is equal to negative 4, 3 times negative 4 plus 1 is negative uh, 12 plus 1, negative 11. Over negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5 is greater than equal to this is positive 11 over 5 is greater than equal to 2. This is 11 over 5 is 2 point something. So, this is true. So, this part is a solution. Region 1 is a solution. Region 2. If x is equal to 0, here tayo, 3 times 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. It's greater than equal to 2. Negative 1 is greater than equal to 2. This is false. So therefore, this is not a solution. Region 2 is not a solution. Let us have region 3. In region 3, our testing point is 2. If x is equal to 2, 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7. 2 over 2 minus 1 is 1. 
greater than equal to 2. 7 over 1 is 7, greater than equal to 2 is true. So this part is a solution. Sa solution natin, yung region 1 tsaka region 3. So, kukuhanin na natin to. Ito. So, that is, natin isulat. X is greater than equal to negative 3. Yun yun sa X is greater than 1. So, ang ano niya yan, ang solution set. Since alam mo na na from negative 3 to negative infinity is solution, guhitan mo yan. And make an arrow going to the left and right. Yan. So with that, ito ang kanyang solution sa interval notation. This is negative infinity to negative 3 bracket union sa 1, parenthesis lang because 1 is not included in the solution and up to positive infinity. Alin sa man sa dalawang to ay tama. That is the final answer. Next example is 2x minus 8 over x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. First step is to put the rational inequality in general form. General form na to. Second, write the inequality into a single rational expression on the left side. Okay na rin siya. It is already a, a single rational expression. Now, number three, set the numerator and denominator equal to zero and solve. So we have... 2x minus 8 is equal to 0, then solve for x. 2x is equal to 8 over 2 over 2, x is equal to 4. So, ito, isa to sa critical point. x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 2, another critical point. So, kung igagraph natin siya, Positive 2 at saka positive 4 yan. Kung ito ang 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The two critical points divide our number line into 3. So, ito yung una. Ito yung pangalawa. Ito yung region 1. Ito yung region 2. Ito yung region 3. First, i-check muna natin kung ang 4 ba at ang 2 ba ay kasama sa solution. So, if x is equal to 4, we have 2x minus 8, 2 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, minus 8, 0. 4 minus 2 is negative 2. Ah, 4 minus 2 is 2. Greater than or equal to 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. Is greater than or equal to 0. It's true. So, 4 is part of the solution. So, solid tayo dyan. If x is equal to 2, 2 times 2, 4 minus 8 is negative 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. Undefined na naman tayo. So, with this, undefined, 4 is not, uh, 2 is not part of the solution. Open start ka lang dyan. After nyan, ano-ano yung, ano, values ng nasa region 1, x is less than positive 2, dito x is uh, less than equal to 4, but greater than 2. Ito, x is greater than equal to positive 4. Kuha tayo ng testing point. Andito ang 0. Sa region 2, 3. Sa region 3, I5. So, if x is equal to, try, try na tayo mag-test. 
If x is equal to 0, gamit dito, 2 times 0, 0 minus 8, negative 8. Over 0 minus 2 is negative 2, greater than equal to 0. Negative 8 and negative 8 is I negative 2 is positive. 8 over 2, I 4, greater than equal to 0, true. So, solution ito. Mula dito, mapunta sa kaliwa ay mga solution. I-broaden mo na yan. I-test natin ang region 2. Gamit ang 3. If x is equal to 3, we have 2 times 3, 6 minus 8, negative 2 over 3 minus 1, I 1. Greater than equal to 0. Negative 2 over 1 is negative 2 greater than or equal to 0. False. Hindi siya kasama sa solution. Again, ito ay solution na part. Then, sa region 3, if x is equal to 5, 2 times 5, then minus 8, 2 over 5 minus 2, 3 is greater than equal to 0. It's true. Mas malaki ang 2 thirds kaysa sa 0. So, therefore, mula dito hanggang papunta sa kanan to positive infinity ay solution. So, ito yung magiging graph niya. Wala dyan. Nakita nyo yung region, 3, region 2. Wala. Kasi hindi siya part of the solution. So, ang sagot ay x is less than 2 union sa x is greater than equal to 4. Interval notation positive 2 to negative infinity union to uh, 4 to positive infinity. Any of the two is correct. That's the final answer. That would be all for solving rational equations and inequalities. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Juliet B, for you to be notified for my next video lesson. Goodbye!